Yes, hello, I'm Rosie. Everybody knows me by Rosie, but my real name is Rosemary. But anyway, uh, hello to all my dear sweet patients. I'm here again. We're going to talk about a couple of different IVs that we do here in the office. One is the uh, ALA, which stands for alpha-lipoic acid. And the other one is chelation, which is also uh, is to remove toxic metals from the body. And it has other uses, but mainly those are the two main ones. So alpha lipoic acid is a great antioxidant that is found on every cell of the body. It helps break down carbohydrates. So it's used mainly to, um, in a way, to make sure that insulin get, works more effectively in the body. And so a lot of people, when they have the IV, they feel more energetic because the sugar goes where it needs to go. And so, and by doing that, uh, they have more stamina. And so my experience has been when we give an alpha lipoic, patients feel like, oh, I feel great the next day. Uh, now, the studies that have been done uh, in Germany are mainly uh, IV form. Uh, they can be given orally, but they don't find it as effective as giving IV. So we do it IV in our office and we had amazing results. Now, the other thing that is very, uh, alpha lipoic is very good for is it helps with neuropathies. So patients who are diabetics, which makes sense because we're dealing with directing the sugar where it needs to go, uh, helps reduce neuropathies in the body, which are very common on diabetics. Um, the other thing is uh, it gives them a little bit more um, uh, quality of life, I would say. Uh, so you can find alpha lipoic because, like I said, it lives in our cells. You can find it on certain foods, especially red meats. There are other uses, you know, so it kind of helps heart disease, they have found. It also uh, helps reduce... Uh, inflammation, and I believe it's due to the, the antioxidant properties. Uh, so chelation actually comes from the word shell, 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 which means uh, chelate, claw. What that means is uh, it's pulling things from the cells. Now, the way it works is patients come in, see the doctor, uh, and uh, the doctor orders the there's if there's reason why we think that this patient needs to have chelation, mainly is if they're having neurological symptoms sometimes, because those are the main issues that we see when there are or a lot of inflammation uh, on patients who have uh, heavy metal toxicity. So we do uh, what we call a chelation challenge IV, where we uh, have the patient hooked up to an IV, and then for the next six hours, they collect urine. The urine is sent to a specialty lab, as many doctors data uh, that we use here in the office. And once we get, once we get all those results back, then we find uh, what heavy metals they need to be uh, chelated. The main one is lead that we focus in, but also mercury, cadmium, and others um, because it works for all of the other other ones too. So um, once the doctor makes that decision, then the patient, we make sure that the patient has all the lab work that we need. The thing that we are focusing on is kidney function. So we want to make sure that the patient's kidneys are working uh, effectively. Uh, we want to make sure that their GFR, which is the glomerular or filtration factor is actually uh, very adequate 
for this patient. We've got to make sure that creatinine is at their normal levels too. So we once we assess that and we come, then the patient can schedule for the chelation IVs. So the main ingredient in the chelation is going to be EDTA. The other uh, ingredients that go with it is um, vitamin C, magnesium, some B vitamins, potassium. And so because it's chelating the calcium, one of the, the effects that we could see with chelation is uh, cramping. So when we see that, we can just give them uh, an IV of uh, lactate ringers. We has all the the minerals in there. So because it's chelating calcium, you know, so that's one of the reasons why. So it is also used for hypercalcemia, which is um, high calcium in the in the blood, and it's very effective to when we're chelating the calcium. Um, to reduce the calcium levels. So, so it's used for several things. Now, in the past, it also was uh, thought that can help with uh, heart plaque in the arteries, but uh, the FDA has not approved it for that. But we've had, because of the calcium deposits, you know, in the arteries, we believe it can also be effective, but like I said, uh, it hasn't really been approved by the uh, FDA to do it that way. So um, we have other things for plaque, you know, which we can get into another time, but uh, those are the main benefits of it. Thank you for listening, my sweet dearest patients. You know, I love you to death. And uh, if you have any questions about uh how this IVs work, make sure to put it in the comments and uh, we will definitely get back to you with it and uh, or call me. Thank you. Perfect.